Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be talking about how to love yourself. Give yourself that genuine self love. Even if nobody else don't give it to you, you give it to yourself. So I have everything written down on a notebook. So if you see me looking down and stuff, it's because I don't want to forget anything. So we're gonna be reading so off of my notebook, you know, because I want to make sure I give you guys all the information and I don't want to leave anything out. So let's just get right into it. So the first tip that I'm gonna share is just be yourself. Don't worry about if other people like you or none of that. Don't worry about it. Don't care because public service announcement, hello, everybody is not going to like you. No matter what you do, no matter how you do it, it's not going to happen. So accept it, embrace it, and move on and just do you. Be you. Be the authentic you. Live in your truth, whatever that is. Because God created you and you're lit. Like God created you. So you're awesome. Don't worry about the haters and who don't like you. You like you. So just be yourself. Tip number two is to be your biggest fan. Be your own number one fan. Be your biggest cheerleader. Be your biggest support system. Even if nobody else is not that for you, you be that for you. You know, and don't worry about n nothing else. If you be your biggest fan, you can't, you can't lose, you know? So, tip number three. Say positive affirmations. Say it all day, every day. You can do it in front of a mirror or you can just do it when you're doing chores or you sitting in your bed or in the morning when you wake up or, you know, when you're watching TV in between commercials or, you know, before you go to sleep. Say positive affirmations. And examples of that would be, I am beautiful. I am smart. I am a good person, you know, and... <clears throat> Once you just start saying that on a daily basis, even if you don't believe it at first, eventually, the more you say it, the more you do it, you're going to believe it. And because it's true, you are a beautiful person. So, yeah. Tip number four. Stand for something, even if that means standing alone. Like, just like what I said, you know, earlier. Everybody's not going to like you, so it doesn't matter. You know, you you be who you are. You stand up for what you believe in or what you feel. And even if nobody else doesn't like it, as long as you're happy and you like it, that's all that matters. So tip number five, live your life on your own terms, not based on what society says you should be doing, you know? And a good example is that, take me for example. I'm 37 years old, never been married, don't have any kids. Some people might look at me like, ugh, what's wrong with her? Like, why is she, you know, 37, never been married, don't have kids? Like, ugh. But I'm happy with that. I'm happy where I'm at in my life. And that's not part of God's plan right now for me or what I'm supposed to be doing. And I know that when it's the right time and everything is falling into place, God is going to bless me with those things. But as of right now, I'm happy for what I do have and I'm happy for where I'm at in my life. So you just got to embrace your own journey. And that's just it. Number six, don't compare yourself to other people. Just like what I was just said in the last tip. You are who you are. They are who they are. You can't be them and they can't be you. 
no matter how hard you try, you will never be somebody else. So you just have to love who you are, embrace who you are, and be happy for who God created you to be. Like, that's it. And that's all. Seven, avoid trying to be perfect. You will never be perfect. Nobody is perfect. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to fall a little short. You know, but that's the beauty of what this thing called life. Like, you're never going to be perfect. So stop trying. Nobody is perfect. Eight, reward yourself after you make all your accomplishments that you want to make and you, you know, reach your goals. Don't be afraid to reward yourself. Like, you should celebrate and be a, be happy that you was able to reach your goals or you was able to accomplish what you set out to, you know, accomplish. That's something to be proud of, you know, because not everybody can say they accomplish what they set out to accomplish or they, you know, reach their goals. So you be proud of that and you reward yourself, you know. Number nine, do things that make you feel good. You know, point blank. Don't surround yourself with people or things that don't make you feel good. You know, do things that make you happy. Even if you have to do them alone. Like, you know, for example, going to the movies or going shopping or going bowling. Or whatever it is that makes you happy. Going to get a massage at the spa or going to get your nails and your feet done. Whatever makes you happy and makes you feel good, you need to do those things, you know? Whether that means doing them alone or not. Number 10, focus on the positive things. Don't spend your time focusing on the negative. That's just not something that you should do. Because if you want more positive things to happen in your life, then you need to focus on the good things that happen and the blessings that you get and receive. Not the negative stuff. Because all that's going to do is cause you to have self-doubt and to not feel good about yourself. So just kill all them negative thoughts. Get them out your mind. Out, out, out your head. Just kill them. And only focus on the positive things. And surround yourself with positive people. And the last tip. It's always a good idea to make a vision board. Just something that you can be able to look over and visualize and see. So that is something that you can, you know, help use to help you to accomplish whatever goals that you see for yourself. If you visualize it, it can happen. It will happen when it's the right time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful and you want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments. And, you know, like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe to me. So, yeah. So, I'll see you later, lovebugs. Bye.